Infernax is a Metroidvania. It is, if Axiom Verge is the spiritual or play style uh, successor to Metroid, then Infernax is the spiritual successor uh, to Castlevania 2 Simon's Curse. This is basically Simon's Curse 2. Um, having, uh, I've played through, bought a couple hours uh, of it. There are some parts I'm struggling on here and there. I'm playing a classic mode, which is, you know, you, whenever you save somewhere, that's your spot to go back to. You don't get to carry anything over. Uh, you die, you go back. There is a casual mode that will let you keep some of your XP and some other stuff, whatever, just to make it easier, I guess. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know how that works. Uh, we're going to be playing on, on classic today. This is my character. Uh, you can see he's got level three attack, level one uh, health, and level one mana. Uh, those are the three things you level up as you go. I haven't seen any other weapons in terms of like whips. Uh, as you see, I have like a Morning Star type uh, thing uh, on. Um, I haven't seen, I say whips, of course, because of Castlevania. Uh, but there are spells that you could get. So think like, you know, like Castlevania, where you have like a secondary spell that you could hit by like mashing the B, the A button, and up at the same time, or whatever it was. Um, it's kind of like that. So I don't have any spells right now. We're gonna get in. I'm at the outside. I'm outside of a castle right now. Uh, we're gonna go in. I'm gonna try to get as far as I can. I have to go in there retrieve something. I guess I can't remember. Uh, I've gone in this castle like 50 times, and I keep dying and coming back because there's multiple areas in true Metroidvania fashion. There are multiple areas you have to go to, um, and each one has like one has a key, one has uh, a, a spell, I think, or something. Like, there's all kinds of things I can all over the place. And so what I've been doing is going in, getting that one item, hitting that dead end, and then back backtracking out to save <laughs> so because <laughs> that's how hard it's been <laughs> for me uh oh oh this is new oh snap just just like castlevania 2 right a night falls upon oh snap this is my first time seeing this okay cool the music changes and everything oh that sucks because other songs are so red um well actually let's still go outside oh we're going back to me possible i mean not possible i can make this there's all kinds of jumps Going all the way back here. What we'll do is, uh, let me backtrack some and I'll just die. Um, I want to see if there's like enhanced mobs or something. I'll know right away. Were you going to come down or what? <laughs> yeah, we're just, gonna, we're just gonna skip that part. We're just gonna go this way. Uh, so here we go. Yeah, look, classic restart. Like the good old days, you go back to your last save point and lose all your progress. This one, casual restart, you keep some of your XP gold, but you won't be able to select classic anymore. So that just doesn't seem like there's enough, um, enough benefits for me to switch out of uh, classic mode. Uh, but hey, we're back at um, daytime with the rock and song. But we're inside now, so we don't get the rock and song. Um, I mean, all the sound, all the all the songs in the soundtrack have been really good so far. The boss fight that I play, uh, that I did, uh, one of your first boss fights that you do, was um, like such a contra feel. Like just, I mean, contra is one of my favorite soundtracks. Contra and Super C, uh, two of my favorite soundtracks, uh, and that's the vibe you get from this. Um, oh God, which way I have to go? Shit. Uh, let me see. I don't think I've gone this way yet. But that's the vibe I get from some of these songs. And even, you know, of course, Simon's Quest 2 and um, this this gameplay style is so like Zelda 2. I realize I'm naming off like every other game, but it's very... Oh, God damn it. That was my fault. Yeah, stab me, stab me. I'm gonna skip it. Uh, <laughs> um, but the reason why is because it's tickling all those bones. You know, you play and you're just like, oh man, this feels like blank. This feels like blank. Let me help this guy out. Then you're gonna stand here. Um... Yeah, it, it just tickles. It tickles all the right, all the right, uh, uh, all the right senses or whatever. Tingles all the right senses. Psst. Your spidey tingle or whatever, <laughs> whatever it was called. Ooh, jump over this. Okay, crap. Okay, he's not gonna be damaged by that, so I gotta be careful here. Oh, stab me in the back! I love that. I love the. <laughs> <laughs> the animations. I just wanted to show you guys all the different animation deaths. That's all it is. All right, for reals now, we're going to go in. Oh, that guy's going to die this time, though. Sad. Sad. So I have enough money to go and buy a spell, but it's hella far away. And as far as I can see, there is no fast travel. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure yet, but it's not introduced me to fast travel. I'm not even that far into the game. But the game was so challenging, I felt like, you know what? This is probably a good, good spot to go ahead and show things off without getting too deep. Too far into the into spoilerville. So I have one more. Hmm. Let's go this way. I have one more key. That's a spent. This guy's got kind of a unique attack. There you go. He reveals his his weak point. Now I got two guys to deal with. Damn it. That guy's fast as fuck. This this guy, the the white skelly thing. 
totally reminds me of Zelda 2. Oh, God it, damn it! And then he stabs, and he stabs, and he stabs. Oh my God, how far am I gonna get? <laughs> Just so you know, uh, viewers, I have a, a note to uh, Corpse for editing this. Um, that if I die too many times, that I'll just say, just go ahead and let's skip this part. <laughs> and I'll keep playing until I get past it. And then I'll have you guys, and then we'll just edit all the, all the middle stuff out. But uh, I'm going to try not to be a bitch. <laughs> I'm going to try not to go down like that. I'm going to make this one shot. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. It was fine dealing with one guy, but it was the, it was the ad on the ad that fucked me. This guy's easy. Duck. And then get in his face, get in his face. And then get in his face, get in his face. Oh, oh. Come on, come on. Like one more hit. There it is. 250 XP. Lots and lots of gold. Get out of here. Yeah, no, 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 no. Stand up, stand up, boy. Stand up, stand up. Let's go. Let's see it. Nope. Yeah. Oh, God, he's so fast. Man. My health. Yeah, I've been putting everything into. Uh... Oh, damn. I have to go the other way. Ugh. Let's fight this guy again. Woo, man. And this guy, too. So there's a spell over here I have to get. That's what I was thinking in the back of my head when I started recording. There's a spell over here I have to get that will give me the ability... Not a spell, like an augment. that will let me smash through walls. Oh, wow, I have a lot of XP and a lot of goals here. Damn. I should back, I should back out. All right, we're back. I have a little bit more health. I went back saves and I upgraded my health a little bit. I've been putting everything into power. I figured I might as well put some stuff into health. I have the XP for it. This is only going to benefit us in the long run. Let's go. This guy. Nope. Come on, take a stab. Take a stab. Get out of here. Take a stab. There we go. There we go. That's a secret. That's a secret. That's a secret. You gotta juke him. You gotta juke him. P.S. Cannot break the candles. They don't break. They don't break. I tried a million times. <laughs> I just I see candles in a in a Castlevania like game, and I'm just like, yeah, let's do it. Let's get some let's get some 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 uh, hearts or whatever. Okay, over here is where I get the, the rock breaker. Oh, I think that thing shoots spears. This guy again. I get two hits every time. That's so good. Nice. Oh, lots of money too. We're just gonna jump over that guy every opportunity we can. Here we go. Big spells, no whammies. All right. Or skills, big skills, no whammy. Look, at, look how dramatic this is. Precision strike allows you to break cracked blocks and hit solid enemy projectiles. I haven't come across any solid enemy projectiles unless it's talking about like the javelin throwers, maybe? Look how fast he is, man. Damn. I know I said I was gonna jump over him, but oh, oh no, 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 no. But sometimes I'm stubborn. <laughs> sometimes. All right, I'm gonna try not to speak too soon here, but we have the we have the skill. Now we're going to try to escape. Oh, well, let me get this guy to move to the other side. Can you throw another thing? Can you throw? Can you throw? Can you throw? He won't throw. Let's get down close. Okay, we'll just keep our head down. There we go. We're just gonna we're just gonna do it like this. We're gonna we're gonna make it out. I'm gonna save, and then we're gonna come back in. <laughs> oh man! Oh yeah, this is the way we had to go in order to get the in order to break those or where those broken or cracked blocks were. That's where we're going. Just gotta make it through some of these guys. No problem. <laughs> Funny, this is the same problem that I had with uh, with uh, the mobs in Legend of Zelda that would do that, that crouch attack. God, man, so hard. You do have the ability to block. You've seen me do it a couple times. It's only when you're not attacking. So you have to time yourself, right? Like if you think they're gonna attack, then great, don't attack. Um, in order to keep your your, uh, uh, your your shield at the ready. The um, projectiles, you could block also like the javelins and such. You could block those as well. Uh, you could crouch to block. Uh oh, something's happening here. Oh snap, we're going to a boss fight and I have one more hit and I'm done. Oh dang, here we go. Here we go. Whoa. Oh my god. Really? With this health? This would be super sweet. 
Oh, I see there's things there. Okay, be careful. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh, yeah. Smash me. Smash me. Okay, okay, okay. God damn it. Here we go. Attempt number one. Is, that, is he breaking out now? No. Not that I would know, it was my first attempt. Just out of reach half the time. Hey, Betty has health triggers. Once he gets to a certain point, every X percentage he will. That was lucky. No, was skill. Sorry. That's what I meant. Oh, baby! First time! Look at this! Look at this! Oh, man, look at that. Wow, great game for kids. Great. Oh, man, it's perfect. Look at that. Boom! Castle cleared! Reward, 750 XP, that's a lot. That's a lot, that's like a straight up upgrade, uh, level one upgrade. Oh, what is this? Ooh, and we have a thing we could pick up. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Oh, can I not pick it up? I hit it? Oh. Oh. Ah, we have defeated one of the gems, I guess, for this rune that is keeping a door sealed. You have to play the game to find out more. Oh, where does it take me? Please tell me it takes me outside! Oh, thank God! Can you imagine I have to go through all that shit again? And, you know, complete it for the first time again and again? Uh, I'm gonna save my money, actually, because I... don't know if I'm gonna need the mana just yet, because I don't have any other spells. So... Now that I'm out here, this is great, because you guys can hear this awesome song. Doo-Doo says, the, pra the prayers quell the pain of battle. Lord Doo Doo. I didn't realize that they were going to use his name so often in the game. I just gave it like a random name. And so, yeah. So it's all like, Lord Doo Doo. <laughs> Please save us. Oh, God damn it. It's my second time doing that. <laughs> I just go, I'm like, yeah, you're going to fall, right? There it is. Game's basic, basic platforming shit. I'm making mistakes on. Mm, can I do this? Sure can. And this one, we'll just go and play it safe. I don't know where the next save is, so, you know, just play it safe. Good. Ooh, this is gonna be wonky. And then, uh, whoop, before I get crushed. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Soundtrack has been great, though. I already mentioned it once, but soundtrack has been so good. Um, like really, really thoroughly enjoying. I'm gonna be, I'm, I could drop down and go to the next level where I need to go to, or the area I get to go to, but uh, I want to take the play safe here. But anyway, soundtrack, just rocking, so good. Outside soundtrack, good. Dungeon soundtrack, good. Boss fight soundtrack, good. Like it just checks all the boxes, all them boxes. Uh, let's be careful where we drop down here because again, we can't see, we can't really move the camera up and down like in some other Metroidvania, which is fine. Oh, hey, we unlock this area now. Oh, but we can't go up here. Well, a true, a true Metroidvania right there. <laughs> yeah, you got past blockade number one because of the thing that you found, but there's another block. Jesus Christ. Bust through all these. Right now I'm making my way back to town. I have a bunch of quests there, and that'll actually be where we probably wrap it, I think. We'll see what, what lies ahead here. I'm also doing some more exploring. I didn't used to be able to hit the uh, one-shot these guys, so this is good. The power, my power ability has uh, is paying off here. Or my power upgrades. I'm also getting a lot of money for these guys, so this is good. 401. 250 is how much I need for, an ex for a spell. I wonder who did the soundtrack, actually. I should look that up, because, um... 
One of my favorite composers, uh, uh, chiptune composers, is Vert, V-I-R-T. Um, and Disaster Piece had devils in it as well, but um, Vert is just so good. So I'm wondering if um, if he had a hand in this. If he didn't, then great, cool, there's another producer that's making some really sick chiptune, and I like it. I used to bump that shit in my card, I swear to god. <laughs> I used to bump <laughs> chiptune, it was so good, so, especially Vert stuff, that shit was rocking so hard. Uh, yeah, I wonder if that actually lists on the on the listing here. I didn't see. Let's see, uh, uh, by Jason Latorno, uh, Jules, Family Jules, <laughs> Conroy, and Oliver Clear. Wow, forty-seven tracks. Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh yeah, this is gonna be a good. This is gonna be a good soundtrack. Oh man, that's gonna be so good. Okay, yeah. Um, I'll look at the art. Look at this art. Damn, that's metal as fuck. <laughs> Hell yeah. Anyways, uh, the prayers quell the- yes, 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 yes. Let's go see what's in here. I was gonna go back, but... Oh, do I have a key? Do I have a key? Oh, I spent all my keys already. Sad. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Where was I going? Was I going this way or this way? Oh, this way. Okay, let's go to the left. We're just exploring now. Again, another great part about, you know, Simon's Quest was just exploring until you get to a dead end. Like, whether it's, like, the river sticks or something. Um, something that can prevent you from going forward. And then you have to double back to go and, uh, you know, get an upgrade or find whatever. I'm actually making my way back to the town. I recognize this path here. So perfect. Unless I, unless I detour, because you know. Oh, look at that. A detour. How would you get out of here? This crazy, stupid, bouncing thing. Here, bounce into this. Gets them every time, boy. Let me see, what's this? It says, Danielle says, good night. There is a huge monster I cannot seem to damage lurking in the basement. If you can eradicate it, I'll teach you my family's ancestral fighting technique. Hell yeah! Be careful down there. I wasn't able to get close enough to hit it. This is not going to work out. Another boss fight? Two boss fights in one? Let's see if I could. Let's see if I could. First time this one also. <laughs> you know. Damn! What the heck is this? Oh my god, this is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, cool. What am I supposed- Oh, I can't get close enough to fight. Oh, okay, well. Listen to the soundtrack. This is so Contra. Wow, what is this? How am I supposed to get up close? I wonder if I have to whip- Maybe whip something back like this. Oh, ouch. I bet I have to- <laughs> I bet I have to whip one of those projectiles back or something, or I'm not supposed to be there because I don't have the right uh, the right tools for the job. That could be very possible. Very possible. All right, let's see if we can just no, 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 no. try and get around, y'all. Oh, guard! I owe you my life, Lord Doo Doo. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But let me let me let me hit this guy though. <laughs> just same point to talk. All right, so we're gonna go, we're gonna not go down. We'll come back when we get some magic or something, some kind of range tool. One of my slots did used to have a uh, a health pot, but then I I guess I used it or I died or something, and they were like, yeah, you don't deserve this, and so they didn't give me a new one. I had to go back to town and talk to a priest or something. Ooh, this is a new area. Ooh, we're never gonna go back to the town, but just trust me, there's a town. Uh, it's just like the the one house that we found, except that there's a bunch of people there. Damn it! Oh, this is a dead end. That dude straight up hanging on a tree. Boy, I love it. This pixel art though, so it's cool. Child friendly. <laughs> There's actually a huge warning when you first launch the game. It's all like, this is not for kids. <laughs> oh shit, didn't see that guy. <laughs> oh, here we go, nighttime again! Yeah. Yeah. Bam. Oh, bam. You guys are not tougher, or at least they still take one shot. Ooh, Darsov. This is, oh yeah, this is the starting area. Excellent, excellent, I made it. I made it, I made it. Oh, let's go to the inn. Can I stay at the inn? How's this work? Oh, this guy fills it up. There we go. Health potion free. Thank you. Are you sure you want this potion? Abs it's free. Thank you. There it is. Why? Fill her up. Sick inn beat. Wow. Oh, this is just a night beat. I like it. This guy says... Uh, oh, oh, hold on. So, no. So, shield. Increase the strength of your armor. Permanently increase your max life by one. Wow. So, this is 150. That's pretty good. But... Like I said, there is another area that I want to go to. Uh, naturally, there is this this classic Metroidvania style of uh, 
me see. Earth map. Where was this guy? Was it over here? I wish I could get over to the thing. There's a one little block I can't get to. It's to the right of this one here. Arcos underpass? No, no. I guess it doesn't have a name. See magic? Yeah, no magic. Let me see. Sword and board here. Oh, it's a blacksmith. Let's see, you can potion flats, an extra slot for potions. Uh, or slightly reduces damage received. Oh man, both of those would be great. And I have good money now because I completed that. Uh, that I one I, I one shot at that um, that tower. Please, sir, help my husband. He's in the house just outside of the underground. He's been this way ever since he returned from. Oh, I, I actually completed one of these. Uh, I just I killed a, a, a mini boss in a um, in a barn. It's a, bonds one, it's a friend of one of these guys. Hello, traveler. Did you know you're speaking to Hans the Great? Oh, God, this guy. You see, I, Hans, am a respected member of a certain organization. It's kind of a secret. I can tell you're impressed. If you... <laughs> look at this ass bowl cut. Uh, okay, anyways, yeah. If you respect his prestige or whatever he said. We go down here. This is... um. There is somebody in here. Oh, there's a, there's a fucking gate here. My soul darkness help. Yeah, that's right, that guy. Yeah. Can't do anything to help him just yet. Man, this kick, this kick on this, on this beat, it's nice. What a save here. Oof, man, that was hard. But like I said, this is like, this is a straight up Simon's Quest 2. It's so good, it's so good. Um, I don't even know what's back over here, but you know, typical Metroidvania, we should be able to go back here and find maybe another path or maybe another option somewhere. Oh yeah, look at that, there's a, uh... Oh, these guys take more than one hit. Okay, so we might be in... There's a, anyway, there's a ledge up there that I can't reach yet. So, you know that's coming. Yeah, let's clean all this up. What's over here? Probably another... Whoa, okay. This is a... That's a pit. Pit. Not, not a... Not a... Drop down and get to a different area pit. Mm, 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 mm. Although, this is a drop down. Let me see. What's over here? Does it have uh, bricks I can break? Nope. Okay, there's a chest over there already got. Nice. Another huge ledge I cannot reach. Oh, yeah. Oh, what is this? What the heck? Did we just stumble across another fucking boss? What the hell? Okay. Okay. Boy. Come on. Come on. First try. Quest updated. Kill the grave haunting skeleton in Darsoft Shire. We did it. Then I go back and I turn that in and then we're done with that. And this takes me back over here and I can't go any further. So hey, we did it. Wow, we came back. We found a boss. Um, It was a quest that I had, obviously. Now I go and turn it in. Everybody's happy. I probably get paid or some kind of prestige or something. And then uh, and then we go on to the next mission, the next quest, the next ex exploration, the next uh, upgrade, augment, whatever, skill, uh, upgraded morning star, magic, all that stuff. There's a house I can go and visit. Um, there's some, oh, something very important to mention. Uh, there are some, um, like, like, uh, morality questions you have to, you have to, que you have to answer. Um, or not questions, but, like, basically situations they put you in. Like, for example, very early in the game, like, the very first, one of the first things you do, uh, you come across somebody who's, like, turning into a zombie, and you're like, kill me, and you can decide whether you're gonna kill him or not. If you don't kill them, they turn into a, well... You know, <laughs> so <laughs> so yeah. There there is an element of uh, of choice, and one of the choices that I made actually had impact on. I mean, a small like a slight load impact, but an impact nonetheless on. Um, Oh, see, is it you? See, it's a living. Okay, I'm just see some one of these guys is the ones that sent me out there. Uh, but it actually, does have an impact on um, uh, on a certain siloed area of the game. So yeah, it's a uh, pretty. Pretty, uh, um, uh, uh, pretty cool. Like kind of extra twist. Okay, it's not you. That you're the you're the dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not downstairs. One of y'all want me to kill this guy. All right. Which one is it? Let's go. Probably some in the end. Maybe. Let's talk. Let me see you. Greetings, my lord. So glad to see you. Yep, yeah, it's me, Jeff. I'm supposed to travel to Arcos for work, but the roads are too dangerous. That's right. Not even Darza feels safe anymore. These are dark days indeed. Indeed, sir. And this one says, may he finally rest in peace. Take this gold as a token of my thanks. Come back to me at any time if you are weary and need a rest. Quest completed. How much gold did I get for that? 100 gold. 
that's... Oh, yeah, that's pretty good, I guess. <laughs> that's not bad. That's not bad. I can go buy some shit. Uh, well, but that's it, though. I'm gonna go find a place to save. Let's go in here. See what's in here. See if anyone wants to talk. Go to church. We'll go sit over here and pray. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, this is not a place. Oh, press X. What does this do? Oh, Doo Doo says this tome has been in the Darsov Cathedral for generations. Should I really destroy it? Oh, that's right. This is a morality decision that I, I, I was presented with a while ago. And so now, do I want to side with the group that asked me to do this or do I want to not? I'm going to do it. Mash. Quest updated. Destroy the holy tome. Oh boy, I did it. Let me get out of here. Is someone gonna be waiting for me? Return to the Vagabonds camp. Wait, what's over here? Oh, hold on a second then. Oh yes, this is like a yeah, 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 yeah. What you do sleeping? It's nighttime, so P.S. That's when the that's when the Vagabonds uh, told me to come over here and do this. They said it's best to do it at night when they're all sleeping. Clever, clever. Clever, clever. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and keep going until I find a safe spot. But for the rest of you guys, you guys can check out. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mike BAK Phony. Infernax is available on Steam for $19.99. Sick, sick Metroidvania. Simon's Quest 2, basically. Let me go park over here next to this warm fire. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!